Ooh, that was pretty good. All right, I don't need this, so I'm gonna use it anyway. If you don't know who I am, I am Mr. Henderson. I and Ms. Alexander are in charge of NJHS, if you recall. If you don't recall, then clearly you slept since then. So today we have a few reminders that we are going to give you, but instead of us giving you the reminders, it is going to be your officers giving you the reminders. The officers that you elected, the officers that you chose to represent you in NJHS. So each one of them has something that they are going to tell you. Um, Mrs. Alexander and I might jump in occasionally and also give you a little bit more information, but they are going to give you some of the things that you need to know because some of us have either forgotten or somehow, some way, didn't know them in the first place. So, who am I passing it off to? I'm passing it off to Caleb Sterner, who is your president. So, I don't know that I need this microphone. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. So, as Mr. Henderson said, I'm Caleb, this chapter's president. And also, as he said, we're just going to be going reviewing the expectations, but also going over what this year looks like for you guys, induction, and stuff like that. So I'm going to start by reviewing the expectations of NJHS. As always, we expect you to abide by the five pillars of NJHS, three of which being citizenship, character, and leadership. Be a good human being in the hallways, in your classes. Everyone is looking up to you, your teachers, the seventh graders, your peers. So set a good example. NJHS has a good um, brain failure. Okay, NJHS has a good reputation so far, and we intend to keep it that way. Uh, the fourth pillar of NJHS is scholarship. As a, just as a reminder, you must maintain an A- minus average to stay in NJHS. So if you have a B in English, per se, as long as your average is still an A-, minus, you're good. And the final pillar of NJHS is service. As of right now, you should have at least 10 hours of service from last semester in seventh grade. You will need an additional 10 hours, plus including one NJHS sponsored event this semester, and you will need the same next semester. If you'll notice, I did not say anything about 10, the 10 hours that are not in the 10 last semester, this semester, and next semester. So you will need to gather 10 hours on your own. So if you did any hours over the summer, those count towards that 10, but they do not count towards the 10 required for this semester. And now I will pass it over to Elizabeth, who will review how to submit hours. Hello, I'm Elizabeth, your secretary, and as Caleb said, I'm going over how to submit hours. So you're going to go to the Fisher Senior High NGHS website and click on the blue link. About halfway down the page. And when you do, it's going to make you sign in. It'll ask you if it's an NJHS sponsored event and whether it is or not, you will click yes or no. For this, we will do yes. You will choose which event that you've done. You will then enter in the hours and make sure that if it's you did an hour and a half that you don't put 1.3, you put 1.5 because 1.3 isn't an hour and a half, 1.5 is. And you can also see it, the basic conversions on the screen. And then when you're finished with that, you will click the date that you did it. And I'm pretty sure it just should come up with a month, so you shouldn't have to type it in. And then you'll click submit. And now I'll let Gus talk. Before Gus talks, guys, one thing I want to reiterate, make sure that you enter your hours as soon as you do them. Do not wait until the end of the semester to enter all of your hours because that gets really messy really quickly. So this should be a link, that link to the NJHS website, that should be something that you have bookmarked somewhere. 
That way you can go over here and you can click that link and you can upload your hours really easily. You should also be keeping track of your hours on your own. Make a note on your iPad, that way you can continue keeping track. There are also sheets on here if you want to print them out and you can keep track of them that way. Totally up to you, but you should be keeping track of your own hours. All right, guys, don't worry. All right, uh, so uh, when you sign for an event, like a NJHS one, you know, like when they send them in my mind, uh, you know, if you sign for that event, you, you gotta do that event. Um, uh, or uh, like, if you can't do the event, you, uh, and you sign up, sign up for it, you gotta find a uh, a replacement to do it for you. So like, but so if you're at the event, um, you know, just no lollygagging and goofing around and stuff, and uh, you know, uh, it should be uh, good. So yeah, thank you. Where should your phone be? In your pocket, not in your hand. Hi, I'm Olivia, your parliamentarian, and I'm going to explain how you should be acting when you volunteer at an NJHS event. When you volunteer, you are committing yourself to follow the guidelines that we should already follow in day-to-day -day life, but also the sponsor's rules and directions. You must do what the sponsor asks of you, and although we may want to at times, don't be sitting around, chatting it up with your friends, scrolling through TikTok, and overall avoiding the work that needs to be done. This is not the time to talk or do what you want, so <laughs> the only excuse you have for being on your phone is if there's an emergency, which probably shouldn't happen under your watch. You may totally regret for signing up for your event, but that is no excuse to show that in front of other students, kids, parents, teachers, or even the sponsor. Set an example. These kids might remember you either by how amazing you were and what a great leader you were, and they might try to follow in your footsteps, or they might see you as the one kid who messed around throughout the entire event, and they might think, oh, if they're doing that, maybe I should too. <laughs> <laughs> the sponsors trust that we will do what needs to be done. They asked us to volunteer for a reason, and we have to try our best to satisfy that. NJHS has been around our school for about 20 years now, and they've built a reputation. We have to stick to that and continue to put in the effort, dedication, and will into what all the past NJHS ha chapters have before ours. Now I will pass it on to Ashley to discuss consequences. cover some of the consequences followed by wrongful actions when it comes to NJHS. First, I want to cover the consequence of not completing your given amount of hours for each semester. If all hours by the first semester are not completed, you will be, you will be put on probation. If it happens a second time, you will be disqualified from NJHS. To, to go along with probation and disqualification, those consequences also apply if you aren't able to maintain that A- minus average. Warning 1 is probation and warning 2 is disqualification. Next, I want to cover the consequence if you receive a behavior referral. One, you will have to talk with Mr. Butts about whatever dumb thing you did. And second, you will also have a meeting. And second, you will also have a meeting with the faculty council and will have to explain what you did to a room full of teachers. Lastly, I want to cover the consequence for misbehavior at an NJHS event. Again, you will have to meet with the faculty council about why you can't seem to do the job you signed up for. And now I will hand it over to Melanie, who will talk about the end of the year. My name is Melanie, and I'm this chapter's historian. To conclude this discussion, I'll be going over what we should expect towards the end of eighth grade. Nearing the end of the year, there will be an induction ceremony where everyone officially becomes a part of NJHS. Until then, you are still proving that you can maintain the five pillars such as scholarship, citizenship, character, leadership, and service. The faculty council will see who is qualified to be inducted based on your grades and service. The grade cutoff is at the end of quarter three. The cutoff for service hours doesn't have an exact date decided yet, but will be sometime at the start of May 2024. Let's make this chapter a great one. And now, if Mr. Henderson and Mrs. Alexander have anything they'd like to add. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Give him a hand.
All right, take a breath, take a breath, it's over. Good job, officers. All right, guys, a couple things that I want to reiterate, plus a couple things I want to add. First of all, in terms of behavior, if you had no idea probation exists, that's probably a good thing because it means you're not lying. If you do, that means you probably are. So if you ever get to a point where you are on probation for something, be it grades, be it behavior, whatever, first of all, probation is a big scary word. All probation means is that, hey, we're aware there's a slight issue, we need to fix that issue before the next time we talk. That's all probation is. Now, if you don't get off of probation and you continue and you keep doing the thing bad that you shouldn't be doing, that's when you can be disqualified from a JHS. That happens very, very rarely. We do not do that very often. We don't like to do that. Don't make us do that. Um, what else? In terms of how you are behaving around school, also online. Guys, I'm gonna give you a big brain subject. Whenever you are on social media and you connect your name to FJH and you do something stupid, that's online forever. It's also online for us to see. If that is how you're choosing to represent yourself, then you need to choose to not represent NJHS. Pretty much bar none. Be careful about what you are doing online. That should be knowledge that you possess anyway. Oh, what else do we want to talk about? Induction, induction isn't something that I want you guys to worry about right now. Induction is in May. The only thing that you need to worry about right now for induction is A, being aware that it exists. And that's when we actually have you become an official part of NJHS. There's a whole ceremony, you dress nice, you, some people get awards, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like graduation. Um, what you need to worry about right now is getting the hours that you need in order to be considered for induction. That's a really bright blue light. So, whenever you do that, that means you hit those hour requirements. So before the end of December, before you walk out of here for winter break, you should have at least 20 hours. You need to get at least 10 hours for this semester. That includes at least one NJHS sponsored event. We will send out those events via Remind. I'm gonna say this and I've said it many times, you need to be on Remind. If you are not on Remind, you are not going to get the notifications and then you are going to be horribly lost and horribly confused for the next nine months. So the code for um, the Remind is up on the NJHS website where you submit hours. Make sure you join the Remind because if you don't join the Remind and you wonder how you're supposed to get NJHS events, you've probably been wondering that for a good long while now. You need to be on Remind. I would also recommend you, you have it be notifications, because if not, then it's up to you to look at it. So get the annoying little red dot that's on there, because you want to clear that off right away anyway, because red dot should disappear from your phone within five seconds after they show up. False. That's the worst thing ever. And those of you that are running around with dots of say 742, you're evil human beings and maybe deserve to like not survive much longer. I have 11,000 unread emails. No, yeah, that, 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 God, that's horrible. <laughs> Actually, 11,210. Oh, so ridiculous. Do not be Henderson. I Nobody wants to do that. I'm just going to go take the mic from home. That is horrible. We can't but be sure so you know when it comes out. I, mean, no I, mean, no I got eight notifications on YouTube. I don't know why they're notifying me. I have 52 unread text messages. Point is, whether you are one of those people who are mildly insane, or you're like me who's 100% insane, make sure you are getting the notifications for Remind. Because what happens when we send those out, some of y'all are literally like sharks with blood in the water. Like you will stop what you are doing, and you will, I don't care if Sturgeon's in the middle of the best lecture of his life, you will literally stop everything to get on Remind to make sure you sign up for Shark Fest. Because, oh my gosh, everyone wants to sign up for Shark Fest. And then, all of a sudden, you don't have notifications. All of a sudden, Shark Fest is full. And you can't volunteer for Shark Fest. Best way to avoid that is to make sure that you have your notifications on so that doesn't happen. So make sure that you have all of that stuff good for Remind so you can get the notifications that you need. Bro, yeah. 
You like to talk. What else have I missed? I'll throw out one more thing. This isn't anything you missed. Being kind of some of the face of the school, participation in school things are great as well. Not just to get hours. Participate in spirit days when we have those. Be the people that kind of show and, and get involved. When we have spirit games and events for volleyball and football and things coming up, do your best to attend those. Reminder, pass around to your friends, we still collect house points from you guys as 8th graders for our 7th grade teams until we get the 8th grade teams to do that. So on those days that we have those events, especially spirit days, low trotters, walk by, see me at the corner, make sure you let me know. Hey, I'm wearing my clothes today. I get you the house point, and I get that added to our total. I don't care for the heroes and stars. You guys can do whatever you want. Low trotters, come see me. This is all yeah. This one is a reminder um, to you all from a, a, a former NJHS parent. It is never my job, it was never my job as the parent of an NJHS kid to sign my child up for any sort of volunteer work. It wasn't my job to check remind. It wasn't my job to make sure they were logging their hours. That was the job of my kids. It was my job to communicate the times that I could and could not take them to and from volunteer um, hours and for us to collaborate and work together as a family to make those happen, right? Because you can't drive places yet. So that was, my, that was my job, was to communicate with my kids. I'm available here and here and not here and then help them get to and from those places. But I don't sign my kids up. I don't log their hours. I don't follow around behind them, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing to be an NJHS. That is your job, okay? So make sure that you own that job and that you're learning from that experience. Mom and dad and caregivers don't need to learn these five pillars and these experiences that you guys are experiencing right now. This is for you, okay? So keep that in mind as you're, as you're going forward this year. If you give a visual to that, raise your hand if you're an NJHS. Raise your hand if your parents are an NJHS. Exactly. Guys, make sure that is the case. Your parents are not an NJHS. If you have an issue, you need to come talk to one of us. If you have something going on, if you have a question, you need to come talk to one of us, okay? That is your job. You are in eighth grade. You are big boys and girls now, okay? You have the ability to do that and you need to. Yes, Mr. Sturgeon? I want to remind them of the faculty council, just of who they are so that people they can touch base with. So people on the faculty council, there are several of them in this room, but they include, I'm doing this from memory because now that's gone. Mr. Sturgeon, Mr. Brobiak, uh, Mr. Stum, Mrs. Watson, Senior Dietrich, um, Ms. Pyle, Mrs. Dean, Mrs. Butts, Mrs. Kletch, Mrs. Cornett, and I think that's it. So if you know some of those people, you can go talk to them. And if there are some I missed, they're all on the NJHS website. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker's also on there. So you can, he's, he's forgettable. So you can talk to any of those people and they can give you some support. They can answer any questions. If they can't answer those questions, then please come talk to one of us because we probably can't answer those questions. Um, one last thing, which I'm just gonna kind of put in your heads. One new thing that we're starting this year is people on faculty council are kind of heading some projects. So Ms. Dietrich is looking at um, Riley Dance Marathon which will take place this spring. So nothing is official yet as far as exactly what that's gonna look like for us, but that is something that if you have some interest in or you think you'll have some interest in to kind of keep in the back of your mind and we will get you more information whenever that rolls around, but that will be next spring at some point. Anything else that we need to talk about? Mr. Brobeck, anything? Kind of. Sure. Oh, kind of. Just a small thing. I don't think it's really as big of an, an issue with the kids this year, but things like the dress code should never be an honor society issue. Uh, if it is, that is definitely going to be leading to problems because as far as dress code issues go, you guys should be the ones that are pointing it out to other people. 
The other issue I wanted to point out is the fact that junior high kids can no longer go to football games without a parent. That is because junior high kids caused issues at both HSC and Fisher's High School games. We started Honor Society because we wanted leaders. I know you guys can't solve all the issues out there. I know you can't take control of every kid that is out there. The whole point of Honor Society is just to have kids who are leaders who are out there doing things. All I want you to do is when you see kids doing dumb things, speak up and just be like, hey, you're being an idiot. Stop. It's not going to fix all of them, but hopefully if we have some people who can try and speak up and be a leadery thing, because that was our whole problem and why we started this, is that we had great kids, great kids, who never spoke up. We need great kids who speak up. That is why we did Super Happy Fun Night. So anytime you see issues, please be the one that goes and tells somebody, because if somebody had talked, then maybe we could solve this issue before it became a bigger problem than it was. So I just want you guys to step into that leadership position. It's why we trust you. It's why we put so much faith in you is because we know you can be the leaders that we want. So things like dress code, things like stuff at the football games, please be those kids who are leaders and the ones who are setting the example. That's it. And that's a good spot to end. Again, give another round of applause for your officers. Thank you, thank you.